Does anyone know what an edit all block is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. When magnetic tape was first spliced, some editors actually used scissors so that the shear angle could be varied to create the desired crossfade length. However, for speed and standardization, editors preferred to use an edit all block, which was similar to a carpenter's miter box. Blocks for quarter inch tape have a 45 degree angle for the cut. This would give a 33 millisecond crossfade at 7.5 IPS, a 16 millisecond crossfade at 15 IPS, and an 8 millisecond crossfade at 30 IPS. The block would hold the tape and guide the razor blade so that the splice could be easily made. Edit all blocks for 2 inch tape have an 87 degree angle cut, which was the proper angle when they used to cut 2 inch quad scan videotape. It's a much steeper angle than the quarter inch block, but works well for 2 inch audio tapes, since a 45 degree angle would create too big of a timing difference between track 1 at the top of the tape and track 24 at the bottom. Magnetic film with sprockets was generally edited with a guillotine splicer that cut straight across the frame line with no angle. Therefore, film editors would generally scrape the edits with a razor blade to flake some of the oxide off so that the sound would fade in. This created a virtual angle for the edits so that the start of the track had a very quick fade up and thus prevented pops. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.